The warm-up consists of six movements which you'll do three times around. Pause it now to look at the specific reps for each exercise. Start in an upright position, keep your legs locked out as you move from your upper vertebrae into the middle of your vertebrae down to your lower vertebrae. Then start to engage your lower vertebrae, moving into your middle of your vertebrae until you're in an upright position. Start in a crouch position with your shoulder blades set back and down. Hold onto the bottom of your toes as you try to extend your legs and lock out your knees. Step one foot to the outside of your hand, bring your elbow down towards your ankle, then extend that hand up in the air over your shoulder. Put it back down on the floor, step back and repeat the action on the other side. Standing up perfectly straight as you try to lift your knee to your hip level or beyond. Trying to create large circles with your arms as you're going forward for 10 repetitions and then try to come back for 10 repetitions in the opposite direction. Create a diamond shape with your index finger and thumb having it directly above your head. As you come down, bend your elbows slightly and set your shoulder blades back and down. Perform the exercises in a circuit and choose a level that's appropriate to your level of fitness. Try to maintain a straight back as you keep your knees bent, your arms locked out as you walk your hands forward and back. Walk your hands towards your feet as you stand up. Try to keep your legs straight as possible. Then walk your hands out until you're in a press-up position. With your hands close together and your feet wide apart, move your hands forward and then try to jump your legs to the outside of your hands. Then going backwards, press through your hands and push your legs back. Hand shoulder width apart, moving forward as you jump both legs out to the side. Sink down in three quarter squat position as you propel your body forward. Use your arm drive to help you propel yourself forward. In a tabletop position with your fingertips pointing towards your feet, try to walk your feet and hands forward and then go backwards. Adopt a wide stance with your toes pointing out at a 45 degree angle. Stay low as you walk forward and then walk backwards. With your feet together and your knees bent, try to jump both feet from side to side. The cool down consists of seven movements targeting key muscle groups, but if you want to do any additional stretches, you can. As you hold onto your foot, try with your leg to drive it towards the floor and then gently push your hips forward. Place your forearms on the wall with your elbow at shoulder level. Step forward with a bent knee and toe pushing against the wall. Step back with a straight leg and drive your heel into the floor. Put your hands behind your back, clasping your hands together, locking out your elbows, opening up your chest and pushing your hands in the direction of the floor. As you position both legs at a right angle with your back toe on the floor, slightly tilt your pelvis forward to feel a stretch in the hip flexor. Elevate one leg on a bench or a box, Lock out that knee, flex the toe towards you, keeping your back straight as you pull your toe towards you. Arms extended away from your body, bend your knee at a right angle and bring it across your body. The other hand place on top of the knee and press it down to the floor, keeping your shoulders on the floor. Bring your foot forward so it's in line with your knee. Bend your knee and rest your weight forward over your leg. 